Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick trick to create fake light leaks on your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've just got an example clip on the timeline, and it's really simple. The first thing I'm going to want to do is just duplicate it on top of itself. So I can do that just by dragging the clip back out, or I can hold Option and click and drag my clip around, and that'll that's a little shortcut for creating duplications. So once you have your clip on top of itself, you want to head over to the effects panel and search for one called directional blur. Now I'm going to click and drag this directional blur on the duplicated copy. And I'm simply going to choose a direction that I want the light leak to go. So traditionally, I suppose you could do just straight vertical up and down and you want to increase the blur length all the way up to the maximum, like a thousand, or you could play around with different strengths, but you want to have it blurry enough to the point where it's just vertical lines. So anything from about 300 all the way to 1000 seems about right, depending on the strength of light leak you want to go for. And if you leave it like this, it'll be vertical. I suppose you could do any direction you want. And you can even animate it with keyframes if you want. And then you want to set the blending mode of this layer to either lighten or screen. Or even you could play around with some of the other ones like color or linear dodge for brighter looks. But I'm just going to stick with screen. And in order to get that red light leak look, we're going to go to the effects panel once again. And this time search for one called tint. Click and drag that onto this duplicated layer. And I'm simply going to map the white to be a red color. So in this way, we now have a red light leak happening. And as the video clip moves around, it's interacting with the original contrast and colors of, of the original clip. And you could play around with the opacity of this duplicated clip from zero to 100% to influence the strength of it. And also you could see what the different directions look like. Here it is on lighten versus screen versus color dodge or linear dodge. I think lighten looks good for this clip. And also another way that you can adjust the kind of strength of that leak is by going to the Lumetri color panel and adjusting the curves a little bit. So if you darken the light leak, it'll blend less because it's on a additive or lightning blending mode. Or if you increase the highlights, you can add more contrast into those light leaks. If you feel like they're too blurry and just red, you can try to add more contrast into it. And now you'll get sharper separations of lines such as this and you could even play around with different blur combinations so let's say you didn't like how this was blurring up the face too much i could do a slight directional blur like this just for a kind of glowy effect but i could stack that directional blur on top of itself one more time i just copy and pasted the effect there except this time I can go the other way. I can do a combination of a horizontal and vertical blur or just like a Gaussian blur. And now we get a slightly different result as well where the leaks are more circular and happening around different edges. So just some different ideas for you to play with. This is a way to create a kind of light leak inspired glowing effect onto your video clip. If you enjoyed this, definitely check out some of my other tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.